All right, welcome ladies and gents. Let's talk box office. A24 Civil War has done really well. In fact, you could say that the Civil War has smashed the US box office. Way a bit of wordplay. Anyway, you know, this film has got a B, B grade on cinema score. It's got relatively good Rotten Tomatoes, 83, fresh, 77 for audiences. So, you know, people like it. I myself uh, found it completely misleading. This isn't a review, obviously. Uh, but if you watch the trailer, then go watch the film. It's, uh, yeah, false advertisement for sure. Pretty shots, very little substance. I'm aware it's supposed to be, uh, oh, the tragedy of war, blah, 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 blah. Meh, I just feel like it was squandered. And, you know, it is what it is. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, but anyway, look, so what's happened? A24, Civil War, $25.7 million opening. Now, that's nowhere near hitting a profit. Okay, this film had a, a surprisingly high budget, $60 million, so it needs to hit well in excess of $200 million to start looking at breaking even, because 60, double 60 is 120. Funnily enough, that is the break-even point for the production. It had a relatively modest marketing budget, so you could probably add, mm, I don't know, another 60 on top of that. Maybe a little bit less. You know, you're being really, really kind. So it, it's it got to hit well over two hundred million dollars to start breaking even and going into profit, but it's done pretty well. They do say that it is overperforming, uh, and that is in red state regions like the South and Southwest. Uh, I assume maybe because people think like I did, they watched the trailer, thought it was going to be something else. It is not. Uh, screen engine com scores, post track polled, Civil Wars attendees, politics. I've, uh, it's interesting that they're doing politics. Uh, politics reported reported there's 22 percent of them were liberal 19 percent were democrats 11 percent considered themselves to be moderate uh, and there was apparent apparently six percent uh, republicans there were six percent evangelical christians and politically conservative about five percent so it's i mean mainly liberals gonna go watch this movie it's unusual for uh, post track to start polling people's politics normally you just get a demographic breakdown of ethnicity and age so they're obviously doing this for a reason uh, but only the markets that overperformed were la san francisco washington dc uh, washington and then dc phoenix austin uh, navy hub san diego conservative market denver uh, but then there were also small original markets that rallied including el paso waco uh, you know, Texas, Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Charlottesville, Virginia. So it's interesting. South and South Central as well. Uh, and then the West are obviously the best regions. So, yeah, interesting. And this is, as this article notes, it is just a, it's just a, a it's just a, a movie following journalist, which, again, in my eyes, is probably one of the key reasons why this is a failure, because who the hell cares about journalists in this day and age? Let's get real. Um, anyway... Uh, so, Rival Studios are saying that A24's projection for Alex Garland movie this AM, which is both the biggest opening ever for the filmmaker. Uh, so, that's interesting. It is his biggest opening weekend ever. Uh, but people are like, yeah, good. That's a good result. A lot of people are impressed with A24. Sure, fine. Um, it is interesting because they're like, oh, how, how did A24 get this divided movie across the finish line with a great result? Bad marketing, I think genuinely uh deceptive marketing practice so anyway it says this uh deadline is told that they spent on pna their most expensive movie of all time actually so it costs 50 million with around 20 million plus in marketing okay interesting i would still put that probably about 50 million in marketing so the budget i read was 60 but if you're doing 50 still 100 million to break even plus an extra uh, 40 odd million dollars so yeah i mean it's, it's still a lot of money uh, you, you are still looking at that 200 million dollars mark to start breaking even and going into profit so yeah there you go comparable they're looking at some other films not really any point looking at these uh it is what it is but this movie it's interesting they say that this movie is going to be front loaded i believe so i believe bad word of mouth will start to catch up to it there's a funny thing on YouTube with the algorithm at the moment is that it's populating channels with like five subscribers doing a review of this everywhere. 
and I don't know why. We do know that YouTube does very, very funny things on election years in the States, and I believe that this is probably part and parcel of what they're trying to do. Their algorithm is not that sophisticated. I'm sure it just populates uh, certain political beliefs and then pushes it out into a, a review but it's interesting nonetheless. So I think this will be front loaded. I doubt it will do much more uh, than this moving forwards. But it is what it is. And it says this post track also shows that there was indeed walk up business. So 64% of all Civil War moviegoers buying tickets were the same day. That doesn't really do much. It doesn't really mean that much. It actually means that the, the sort of pre sales weren't that great, basically. So of those buying tickets, 27% identified as frequent moviegoers buying tickets on opening weekend. So they obviously knew that they could because it wasn't that fully booked. Some 46% of those said they attended due to the subject matter plot. Whereas 39% cited the genre and 31% said it looked fun and entertaining. Uh, and I bet that 31% of people that thought it looked fun and entertaining left the theatre going, my God, I just looked at Kirsten Dunst's sour ass face for two hours. That was not fun and entertaining. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. They say there's 48% of those who watch Civil War are curious about a sequel. What? What's it going to... What? No. God, please don't make another one. Um, and yeah, loads of people love it. <laughs> Whatever. It's a powder keg of cinema. It's really not. Again, this isn't a review, but my god, I really, I I heavily dislike this film. <laughs> and loads of people going, you just didn't understand it. It's such a moronic, moronic response to someone that doesn't like a film. To go, you didn't understand it. Well, you didn't understand my review then, I guess, because you didn't like my review. And this is just nonsense. It's such a pathetic argument. Uh, but look, it, it is what it is. It's done pretty well. Uh, $25.7 million opening weekend. Godzilla X Kong has, you know, it has kind of fallen down quite a lot now. It's $15.4 million uh, this weekend just gone. So, you know, down 50%. It is also lost 101 theatres. So it's still holding on pretty strong, though. Uh, I am surprised, actually. And, you know, well done, A24. They are managing to crank out quite a heavy load of theatres for their movie. So good on them. Good on them. Uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is basically dead now. Basically, you know, it's lost 500 theaters now. Uh, you know, it only took 5.8 million dollars. That's not good. That's week four. It's not good at all. So it's fallen off a cliff. It's pretty dead. Uh, Kung Fu Panda's done really, really well. So that's going strong. But look, it is what it is. There's not too much else. Monkey Man's pretty dead now. Uh, it did a total of 17.7 .7 million dollars in week. Well, overall total, uh, $4.1 million week two. So by week two, it's just just getting close to the $20 million mark. Did have a budget of reportedly about $10 million. So Monkey Man, I, I think Universal will probably consider that to be a relative success, actually. Uh, the First Omen, I think people will consider to be pretty much a bomb now by, you know, by, well, by only hitting $14.6 million. It's not good. Uh, but it is what it is. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.